Twitter op. Ik heb een aantal rondes gedraaid. Hey, it's time to make another knitting loom project. Today I will be showing you how to make this lovely hat with a braid. And we will be working from top to down. And we're going to start with a drawstring cast on. And for the tutorial I will be using a smaller loom with an odd number of pegs and some very beautiful yarn from Katia. I will put all the info about this yarn and about the size for the loom in the description box below. You can choose any yarn but make sure to use a yarn that has um, a little bit stretch to it. So don't use 100% cotton but just a little bit stretchy. Now let's get started. Now for the drawstring, uh, attach your yarn to the side peg and I am choosing this to be my first peg. I'm going to wrap from right to left around the first peg. Then I'm going to skip two and wrap the third. It's not really a wrap, just a yarn over. Uh, skip two, yarn over. Again, skip two, yarn over. And you're going to re repeat this all the way around. And I will see you at the end. When you reach the end, just yarn over the last one. And then we will knit all the uh, pegs with a loop on them. So just go to the next and wrap the first. Then again, skip two pegs, but this time on the front, and go to this one with a loop on it and knit. Skip two and knit. Skip two and knit all the way around. So for the next round, we will knit two and skip one. One, two, skip one and knit two. Skip one, knit two, skip one, skip all the way around. And make sure the peg you skip has a yarn for the peg, not behind the peg. Now I'm at the end. I just knitted two pegs. I'm going to skip one and just uh, knit one. It doesn't really matter how you end your row. Uh, for the third row, we're just going to knit all the pegs. So, yarn on top, yarn over. Just a knit stitch. And then you will have pegs that have two loops on them. Just Flip them over and knit all the way around, and then I will see you at the end. Now, once you've knitted all the pegs, you can take off the loop on the side peg, and we will start the project. Now, you can use any stitch you like for this pattern. Uh, for this head, I used uh, just the straight knit stitch on top and then for this one this was is the um, well in Dutch we call it the Gerste Korrel steek um, but I don't know what sure how to call it in English I believe it's the moss stitch mm, I will look up the translation for you but I will start the uh, with this stitch right now we'll start at the first peg with a knit stitch and then a purl stitch a knit purl knit purl all the way around. 
knit stitch and the purl, put the yarn under and make a new loop, put the old loop from the pack and a new loop on the pack. And you can do this all the way around for as many rounds as you need for your head. If you use an, a loom with an odd number of packs. Now if you use a loom with an even number of packs, um, this stitch doesn't work at the end. So if you use uh, an even a pack with an even number of packs, you have to make sure the last one and the first one are the same stitch. So if you end with a purl, you're going to start with a purl. And if you use a loom with an odd number of packs, you can just knit purl, knit purl, all the way around. For, uh, and you don't have to change anything. Yes. So, um, just knit until all the the loom is filled with yarn and then I will come back to show you what to do next. Now I've knitted for some rows and as you can see I changed uh, the size of the loom but it's the same project. And now I'm going to pull on the drawstring to see if there are enough rows knitted. So pull gently and the ring closes. Now, if you want to know the size, from the center to the ring is um, 14 centimeters. And then we're going to start with the braid. For the braiding part, we need to make a drop stitch. For the drop stick, I'm going to start on the first peg with a simple knit and then wrap the yarn six times around this peg you go from right to left okay so one two three four five and six and go to the next peg knit and wrap six times one Two, three, four, five, six, go to the next. And if you don't have enough room, just go over and over. Knit and wrap six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and go to the next. Make a knit and six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So continue like this all the way around. So now all my packs have a drop stitch on them. Now we're going to take off the loops and make purl stitches. Dus je pakt deze lus op en je trekt alle lusjes eraf en je laat er eentje op staan. En daar maak je dan de averechte steek mee. So take off all the loops and make a purl stitch. Ga je naar de volgende, go to the next. The loops and the pearl. So this way you're going to knit all the packs all the way around and please don't worry about all the loops that are now behind the peg. You know this little just 
just let it be and continue all the way around. So now the drop stitch is complete. Um, we, need to, we need to make a little border. A border. You can use any stitch you like, but I'm going to continue with the knit and purl stitch as before. And the um, rounds, you can make as many rounds as you need for the size of your head. I'm going to make, I believe, six rows will be enough for my project. So knit and purl. And I will see you at the end. And you can pull down your um, head a little bit to tighten the loops. See? So um, knit for as many rounds as you need for your project. And then I will see you when we're going to make the cast off. Once you're finished with the knitting process, we're going to make the cast off. Uh, wrap the yarn three times around the loom to make sure you have enough for the casting off. There are different techniques you can use. You can use a needle or a crochet hook, but I'm going to show you how to make a knitting cast off. Uh, it will be in Dutch, but I'll make sure you can follow if you want to use this text. As you see, it comes here the draad out. We gaan de draad nu naar achter halen. En we beginnen op deze pin met breien. Die breien we met deze pin. Dan halen we de gebreide lus van de pin af. En die zetten we op de vorige pin. Dan gaat de draad aan de voorkant. Dan haal je deze twee lussen over de bovenste lus heen. Dan haal je deze lus van de pin en die zet je dan op deze. En deze stappen ga je dan herhalen. So repeat these steps. En zorg ervoor dat je dit niet te strak doet, gewoon een beetje losjes. So, make sure to knit loosely and not too tight. Ik heb hier van het afkanten ook een aparte video van gemaakt. Als ik het niet vergeet zal ik hier onder het linkje in de beschrijving zetten en anders kun je even in mijn afspeellijst zoeken waar die staat. So continue all the way around. Rij zo door en dan zie ik jullie hier op het einde so, weer. De laatste twee. Dat je maar net genoeg draad hebt. Of eigenlijk net genoeg, precies genoeg. De laatste lus, haal je deze door. Haal je de lus eraf. En dan trek je het draadje eventjes door de lus heen. Zo. So. So. Casting off is finished. En as you can see, we have a very nice stretchable edge and only at the beginning part where you need to sew this in to close it uh, nicely now we're going to make um, the braiding uh, the braid. to make the braid make sure all the loops are pulled neatly or nightly Like this. 
and then I'm going to start with uh, starting where we started with this lar yarn knot and I'm going to use a crochet, crochet hook if you don't have one you can use your finger it's no problem take four strands of yarn one two three wait I'm just gonna start with the blue then you can see better four strands of yarn put them on your hook or your finger wrap them once then take the next four strands and next four on your hook or your finger and pull through next four pull through see the braiding is starting continue like this for all the loops So once you're finished, there is a little hole here, and take the first one again, and close it. So, and then I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to attach this with some yarn, and sew in all the ends. There's one here, and one there. And then I'm not going to do this on camera because I'm not very good at it. So I will wish you uh, lots of fun making this hat. And I will see you again with the next video. So bye bye. Please just subscribe to this channel and click like. Thumbs up. And all the info about the yarn and... More information you can read in the description box below. Now, see you real soon again.